Hey guys, I um, went and picked up this gun this morning and when I looked through the optic, I don't know if you can see, but there's 100% no dot there uh, from this angle. There's no dot anywhere, like it's uh, DED, dead on arrival. And so I set that gun aside and I picked up my other gun and I carried that today. Well, this one still has a dot by the way, but I'm gonna preemptively replace that battery because it's been a little while. This is the original battery that came with the Acro. Uh, I put this on the gun August 25th of last year, and today is what the January 18th, I wanna say. So it made it almost five months, just shy of five months. I got two fresh batteries here, by the way. So I'm gonna swap out the battery in this. I'm curious to see if the Duracell makes it longer, shorter, or the same. I, I guess we will see. I'm going to also write on the replacement battery what the date is for my own edification. So let's go ahead and open up the battery door. Oh. Um, it is annoying to me, like the battery door on this is pretty robust but it's kind of annoying that you gotta use the aim point specific tool to loosen it, uh, open it, and replace it. I would like for us to be able to just use a generic big screwdriver or something, but aim point in all their wisdom did not do that. I'm sure they probably had reasons. Ah, look at that, it's a Duracell. So, curiously enough, I'm replacing same with same which leads me to believe, got a little plastic tool to prop the old one, by the way, leads me to believe that I'm gonna get the same battery life or similar out of the new one. So we're gonna put that over there. I'm gonna ploppy this one in here. And then I'm going to write on it, what's today? January 24. So one, 24. Of course, I could always refer back to this video. One thing I like to do when I have like one of these screw tops, I actually screw lefty loosey until I hear it or feel it click and then screw it down. That way it helps me not cross thread. And you can do that with anything with threads, guys. It's uh, something that I learned in the Navy long, long ago when it comes to fittings. And it uh, stuck with me uh, to this day. And I'm gonna tighten this down to a reasonable amount without being over cranky. And then I'm gonna hit the plus sign a bunch of times. And let's see if we've got a dot back. Yes, we do. Yep, good to go. All right. So easy replacement on this one, dot is back. And once again, like I said, I, I can't really see through the viewfinder really well. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's definitely dot back in that. And like I said, while I'm at it, I figure I just swap this one out. The hollow sun is a little bit different of a deal. It is pretty easy. It's just a very small screw. You can of course use their screwdriver, which I have done many times but you can also just use like a little gunsmithing screwdriver, like a small flat head. If I can get it to sit in there. There we go. And that very self same screwdriver, you can, I might get a thinner one than this one actually. I know I got a skinny boy over here somewhere. And then you can use that self same screwdriver, just stick it under these little doors and pry out the old or the battery door. This is my carry gun. Um, so it doesn't run around on my hip anywhere near as much as that other one. Yes, I didn't even mark this one. I should have. But let's do that while we're at it. I should have gotten a finer point Sharpie. Ooh. 
I'm going to write on my own finger at this rate. All right. I don't know if that's legible or not. Maybe I don't even care. Now, like I said, this was a preemptive battery swap. wasn't uh, necessarily needed. It just seemed like the thing to do at the time since I was already replacing batteries. Um, same thing. I just go backwards until I feel a little click. There we go. And then just go forward, and I don't I don't over crank this one, like if it gets to the point where it's a little snug, because I did throw some blue Loctite on it before, and I figured that'll probably convey. And then I check to see what mode I'm in. Yeah, normal mode. Um, you, sometimes I lock these out, but these buttons on the new Hollow Suns are small enough to where I'm not so worried about it locking out. So I got the dot on both of these, good to go. Got some trash. Easy stuff, guys. Battery maintenance, easy stuff on these guns. Um, I do like little plastic picks. They're good for removing things like electronics, you know, without putting like metal across the contacts. Obviously, specific tools are important and a Sharpie to mark things. Doesn't suck. Basic battery maintenance, guys. Nothing too spectacular. I don't think that I need to bother you anymore. Oh, can you see the witness marks? Look at that. Look at those nice clean witness marks on there. Witness mark your stuff. I don't know if I mentioned that before either. Anyways, guys, well, I don't even know whether it's like a five minute video, seven minute video, but a uh, little battery maintenance. I probably won't even put this on a regular re release schedule. I'll probably just do it like just sometime because it's not like a full video. Um, if you've enjoyed this or any of my other content for that matter, guys, and you're not already subscribed, man, I'd really appreciate a subscription and uh, likes never hurt. Guys, take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get him, Jay.